Greetings, everyone. In this video, I want to talk about friends. Greetings. This infinite source truth is made possible by the generous contributions and support of viewers like you. Please consider making a contribution now. Thank you. All right. So how do you choose your friends or do your friends choose you? And what is the basis of your friendship? What is it based on? All right. There are all kinds of relationships and those people who are friends, why are they your friends? Relationships can be built on a lot of things. Some relationships are built on the fact that people need to feel needed. And so they're the rescuers. They're the ones who are out there uh, trying to help people who have made choices in their lives that are not beneficial for them and who have no intention of, um, well, they're energy vampires. Other friends are there for what they can get out of you or how you can meet their needs. Some relationships are based on mutual interests. You both enjoy golfing. You both enjoy going to the movies. You both enjoy going to dinner. Um, whatever it is, you have something in common. There is a need being met, usually, for both people. The need for social connection, social interaction. The list goes really wide. That, that net can be cast very, very wide for all of the different reasons that people choose to be friends. Now, are you friends because you went to school together? Are you friends because you work in the same office together? Are you friends because you're neighbors? Are you friends because you've been friends since you were in school as a child? Are you friends because they're a friend of a friend? How do you create your friendships and are they beneficial for you? There are some friends that have low frequency vices and habits that can drag you down. Are you mature enough to be able to say no? Or because of peer pressure, you're in college and you want to fit in with the in crowd or whatever reason, you don't want your peers in school or college to think that you're not one of them, one of the cool kids. And so you do things that you otherwise would not do, but you want to be their friends. Well, if you are making those kind of choices, then you really need to examine why. In how it doesn't benefit you to do foolish things to fit in and to make friends in a certain in crowd if you're serious about your journey but you see all things are permissible you make the choices and you choose what you want to do with your life what you want to experience you need to be aware of who you connect yourself with. Are you friends with people that you are sensing that should not be part of your script any longer, that are not benefiting you in your growth, in the direction and the path that you're going? Are they detracting you from that path? Are they tripping you up because of your desires to still fit in and be popular or part of the crowd. Examine your subconscious programming, what the deep reason is 
behind those choices and ask yourself if these relationships are beneficial for you, if they should be limited or completely removed. And that can be some tough choices and you may choose to not even make those choices. You might continue carrying on doing what you've always done. Just something to think about, something to consider, and to examine within your subconscious programming. Who do you allow to get close to you? And who do you want to be close to? And why? Even in a intimate relationship, those two people really don't know each other. Yes, they know some things about each other, but they don't know their deepest thoughts, what they're thinking, they don't know. And probably, if they did, they would probably be everyone has their guards up. And will only allow people to get in so far. Can you share too much about yourself? Yes. And it could come back to become a problem from you for you. And that is a choice that you made. It's a choice. Your sharing is a choice. Make wise decisions and choices in who you spend time with, who are your friends, who you trust, who you let into your inner circle, and who you participate with in their lives. Now, if you find the work that I've done within the matrix and the information that I'm sharing a benefit to you, then it benefits you to say thank you with a gift via PayPal. The link is in the description box below. Abundance, health, and prosperity to you.